This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCG code cards. They're compatible with TCG Live as well, and they literally have everything. Use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off on everything on the website. This video is also sponsored by CardsMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day, and you can use the referral name ZABLUSTCG when creating an account. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com, the best website to create your own unique custom playmat from scratch. They ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. How cool is that? Last but not least, this video is sponsored by DragonShield.com, the best website to, of course, buy accessories. They have sleeves, they have binders, they literally have everything to you, you want to start playing competitively. Or, com uh, yeah, if you're a collector, you can also get some fresh-looking uh, clear-fit sleeves. They have everything. Check the link down below, uh, of course, the affiliate link, and you're going to be helping out the channel so much. Thanks for sticking around with the commercials and I'll see you guys shortly. Peace. What's up, YouTube? It's Zablus TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be checking out Lucario V Star. Big shout out to Nine Car TCG for making today's video possible, lending us the Lucario V Star. It's now available on, of course, Pokemon TCG Online, and we're gonna be testing it out today. First of all, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get daily Pokemon TCG content over here, and next week we are actually departuring to, of course, Frankfurt for the European Internationals, which is gonna be a whole lot of fun. For for now, we're gonna be checking out Lucario V Star, fighting Knuckles, slaps 240 of the opponent. There's a V Pokemon, so basically knocking out any basic V Pokemon in existence. And you also have Aura Star, 70 damage for every energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. You're going to be using that in specific matchups, but most of the time you will be still relying on Star Birth to, of course, get everything flying out of the deck. We have Bibarel to draw some cards, and there's also Gengar in here for the Mew V Max matchup. So we have Arceus, Gengar, and Lar Lucario. Pretty epic Pokemon, I would say. We also still have, of course, Hyper Potion, which is very cool to utilize. We just uh, equip double turbo energy, and then we can just Hyper Potion, heal 120 damage. If you have a big charm, you're going to be a very tanky Pokemon for sure. This could turn into a 300 HP, two prize Pokemon, which is super nice. Tool Scrapper is in there because Gengar with Choice Belt only slaps 280, so you can s knock off some uh, big charms from uh, stuff like Arceus, if they even have Dunsparce, whatever. You can also just hunt down the Dunsparce and hit them for weakness with Lucario. So we're going to be trying this list. Now we have Raihan in here, so you can instantly set up a Lucario with Fighting Knuckle, just uh, Raihan DTE or something else. Uh, so we're going to be trying the list out. Hopefully you guys are excited for Lucario to finally see some light of day. We had a Lucario as well, uh, the one that slaps 30-30, which is also a nice option. I think it's the one from Champion's Pad, but we're going to be utilizing the new one, which is able to discard special energies for a DTE. Well, okay, if you guys are hyped for Lucario, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It only takes one tiny second of your time, but does help out the channel tremendously you have no idea okay tails never fails let's get this show on the road as i say tails never fails let's go come on start off with arcus attach of turn and we should be good to go although we also have yeah we have quick ball we have switch so we have lucario as well so next turn we have lucario v star could be pretty interesting if we could utilize okay malamar it's a uh, malamar interesting we are uh yeah this guy's darkness so we have a fighting type pokemon by our side we have Collapse Stadium and a boss's orders. I think in this situation, he could slap down... I don't know. Which cards should we get rid of? Maybe the boss's orders. Maybe the Marnie. We still don't have... Uh, we could get rid of the... Yeah, you're going to be slapping down a lot of uh, stuff on the bench here. So I think I'll just quick ball away the boss's orders. Okay, let's go. We start ourselves off with Arceus. They already have so many V Pokemon in play, which means Gengar can do uh, some havoc here and there. Slapping down this, slapping down that. We're gonna save our Collapse Stadium and switch for later. So we have an attachment on Arceus. That's the the, the beauty of this. He might just be stranded with uh, Malamar in the active position, which we can instantly knock out if we find Choice Bell. So research. Okay, Malamar V Max, Manaphy. Okay, he's playing Manaphy as well. There's a lot of V Pokemon in play. Lucario can just slap away. Okay, re Rope gets himself in the active slot. We don't have Galarian Zigzag though. We do have access to Lucario to get rid of the Arceus V Star. Okay. Instantly having this is not bad. So uh, we have this. Maybe we should have kept that, D uh, that boss's orders by the way. But it's all right. It is all right. We could gust slap a little bit of damage. 
We can get the Choice Belt equipped. It. The Malamar V Max could be interesting though. Okay, we don't have E Switch in this list. I think I'll just Marnie here. Yeah, I'm I'm satisfied with a Marnie. He's probably gonna come with that Malamar V Max to disrupt us a little bit. This one, we're gonna be utilizing Star Birth. What do we need? We have Marnie, maybe we should get out something just to protect ourselves from opposing Malamar V Maxes. So I think I'll definitely take the DTE, that's uh, the clever part here. On top of... Yeah, I think I'll get... Research, so we actually are protecting ourselves from opposing uh, Malamar V Max shenanigans. Let's get these for now. DTE equipped it, let's rock and roll. Trinity Nova, just a little bit of damage, a little bit of chip damage here and there. Let's get ourselves. Yeah, this guy does need, we can slap a huge amount of damage with this Lucario, by the way. Fighting, fighting. It's all the fighting. We could set up another Lucario, but maybe Gengar VMAX is a little bit better here. To slap for ridiculous amounts of damage for less energies. Yeah, we could set up a Gengar. It's not gonna be too hard. And we also have Hyper Potion to heal off some damage. Okay, let's go. We have a Tool Scrapper. I wonder what's gonna happen here. He's gonna be coming with two Malamar V Maxes, which is gonna try and disrupt us a tiny little bit. We can, of course, slap 240, 240. So we're gonna be ahead in the prize race, I would say. We have two, two prizers, then a one prizer. That means if we can get out Gengar V Max, it's gonna be all right. Okay, he's also playing Galarian Moltres, which we can just gust up with Choice Bell, which is nice. Lots of uh, V Pokemon in play. I'm gonna keep the Gengar as a surprise. He still doesn't know we're playing Gengar, and if we're able to slap down a Gengar out of nowhere, right now that's like uh, a lot of damage with Fear and Panic. Air Balloon. Oh, coming with the Malamar V Max instantly, is he? Max Jammer, yeah. He's gonna get rid of our research, 100% certain. He only has one card in hand, by the way. Okay. We could get the Collab Stadium. I don't want a Marnie here. We could retreat and attack with Lucario. Then he's forced into a boss. He only has one card in hand, right? The Scrapper here. I don't want a Marnie in this situation. I really don't. Let's just retreat. Get the Lucario action going with Fighting Knuckle. 240 is actually pretty decent. Two damage Pokemon. Collapse Stadium can help him out. Yeah, he's gonna try and set up some more Pokemon. The Max Jammer is of course gonna disrupt us, but also we could top deck something, so it's not a big issue. And we could also top deck like Ultra Ball to get Bibarel going, so he has a zero card hand. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, he's gonna damage himself with a zero card hand. Okay. I'm not afraid of a zero card hand. We could Hyper Potion and Marnie, but he has a zero card hand. Why should we do that? I think it's better to just take prize cards here. I guess so. It's better taking prize cards here. With Lucario. What do we have? Quick Ball. <laughs> the Argus V-Star, okay. Our Marnie is definitely gonna go away. That's gonna be sad. That means we are in a situation that we really need to have the uh, attach of the turn going around. DTE, he still has nothing in hand though. Max Jammer. Our Marnie will go away for sure. If we draw into an energy, we can also Hyper Potion, I guess. Quick Ball, okay. He wants us to Marnie. That's pretty, pretty uh, nice of the opponent. Okay, slapping down Arceus. 
We have a Lucario again. Lucario again. So snapping down this. Two prizer, two prizer, one prizer. At this point, it doesn't matter, right? We really need to draw ourselves out of this situation. I'm gonna slap down a collapsed stadium. And we are eventually going for a Marnie here. So maybe we draw into that DTE. We clearly don't. Clearly don't. Yeah, what now? We're gonna go for a quick ball. We got our good friend Gengar on board. Gengar. Energy. Yeah, it's Gengar against the world now. We will get Malamar the way. It's not a big issue, I would say, as long as we're uh, drawing into Bibarel or whatever. He has Arceus V Star. Does he play Hyper Potions? Pretty interesting matchup, by the way. Shauna? What? You don't see that every day. Hoopa? He could retreat and attack with Arceus and set up the Hoopa there. He could do that. How many energies are there still left in his deck, though? Four Darkness, three in the discard as well. Oof. Max Jammer. Okay, Armani is gone. So, it's time for top deck paradise. Let's go, Bibarel top deck or whatever, let's go. Research, that's utterly broken. That is just utterly broken, we got uh, crazy lucky. There's the Beebs, <laughs> they are very surprised about that. We can get the air balloon on here. Switch on here. We do have the DTE, but the DTE is not gonna work with uh, our good friend over here. We're gonna go for Ultra Ball, get rid of these cards, get our good friend. He can get double Bibarel out, by the way. Gengar, Arceus, drawing five cards with the Industrial and Scissors. Hyper Potion, <laughs> still not what we want. Evolution Incense, get the Beebs again. Quick ball away, Hyper Potion. Come on, Bibarel. The only thing you need to do is just draw into a Darkness type energy, which is not the case. How? Yeah. This is nasty. Yeah, now the darkness energy show up, little by little. Okay, we are gonna have to Marnie the opponent. He could just slap a little bit of an Arceus and as soon as he has Balsasaurus, he wins, right? Maybe there's a Balsasaurus prize, which would be totally awesome. Choice Belt, fan of waves. Well. Well, 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 well. And a path to the peak. No more abilities, that's cool. Ultra bowling away. Probably gonna have another Malamar VMAX, right? We do have double Bibarel. Double up on the Beebs. What does he have left? It's a Marnie. Okay, we, our boss's orders is gone. Probably gonna be drawing into either Switch or whatever. No Switch, training card is here though. We don't just need DTE. To retreat, we have Arcus V Star, Max Jammer. I wonder what he's gonna get rid of. Probably the Ultra Ball here, but all of our car, all of our cards are insta playable. All of the cards are insta playable. So now we're gonna be going on the Gengar Hype Train. Yeah, the Choice Belt is going away. So Arcus V Star. No longer need 
anything from these. Get nothing. Industrial incisors. Yeehaw. Choice belt for you. Choice belt for you. Didn't seem to be having anything, right? Just a research man. Yeah, there's that switch card. <laughs> Very surprised about that. Okay, let's put the big charm on here, I guess. We have the uh, the boss source in hand. Let's see. If he max jammers, we can draw it out with the cards we have in hand. So, fear and panic. <laughs> now the Gengar attacks. Does he have the boss source in hand? Does not no, not have a way to search it out, even with like Luminion or whatever. So he needs to have it raw in hand. I could have also Marnie here, but mm, six energies in this card. Does he have the boss? Six cards, Luminion, pads. I left the pad in there on purpose. Yes. So a uh, pretty interesting <laughs> scenario. We whiffed out on the darkness energy uh, during the game, but it didn't matter at the end because yeah, the boss goes back, the Marnie goes back, but we have boss in hand, so we can knock out whatever we please with Gengar. Such a crazy Pokemon. Yeah, take my Bibarel. You can knock it out if you want to. If you don't, we just use... Yeah, <laughs> they concede. So, yeah, we have our first victory with Lucario and Gengar and Arcus. It's quite the, the trio, I would say. Two two prizers and a three prizer. Makes it pretty hard for the opponent to, to do some stuff. Definitely if you uh, hit for weaknesses. Having the best typings in the game always is great. Let's play another game, shall we? Sometimes, you, yeah, as you saw, if we didn't wave that darkness energy earlier, we would have definitely uh, got the hang of it. And the Bibarels, you can uh, stack them. If you are able to play two of them, you can draw it through your entire deck. And uh, there are outs to get that Arceus V-Star out of the active was DTE and Switch, which was, uh, there were two DTEs and a Switch still left in the deck. The cool looking Sable coin is here and we are gonna go commencing our uh, game first. Let's see. Opponent sees DTE and uh, fighting type energy, so that means they're probably already gonna slap down a Dunsparce if we're up against Arceus and Talion. I could be entirely wrong, but I have a hunch. Don't know what we're up against. It's an Intellion box. Hmm. I'll promote Lucario first because of the fact that I think I'm up against an Arceus. And if that is the case, we can just attach uh, Fighting Type Energy, then DTE, and uh, we should be good to go from there on out. What is it? Subbles? An army of Subbles. Interesting. So, uh, do we need our good friend Arceus? Or not? That is the question, right? Collapse Stadium. The Gengar? I don't think we, we will need the Gengar here. Let's get rid of the Gengar. Let's slap down Arceus. I do expect the opponent... Could also slap down something else, but yeah, let's slap down Arceus. There we go. What else do we have? Fighting Energy. Crushing Punch is not gonna be cutting the job quite yet. We can attach to the Arceus, or we can attach to the Lucario. But if our Lucario gets knocked out, we have Raihan. So I think I'll just attach here and see where this leads us. For all we know, we draw into Arceus V-Star, get the Lucario, boss plays off. That is just beautiful. If that happens, though. Could have slapped down Gengar as well, but then he can just come. Oh, Rapid Strike Energy. Oh, this is going to be Urshifu. Ooh, I just hope we do draw into uh, Arceus V-Star so I can showcase the power of uh, bossing early on. So we attach that DTE, we boss and knock out an uh, Urshifu that is on the bench. Maybe Demarnius. It's an Avery. Avery, he has a huge hand size though. Gengar, definitely he should have not started with that. Sometimes you're up against Urshifu and you say like, ah, oh, crap. Okay, it's Inteleon. Rapid Strike Inteleon, okay. We can knock off that special energy, by the way, if things go wrong. We also don't knock him out, which is like the hilarious But We can knock him out with Cyclone Kick, I guess. We have 210 HP. This Italian only slaps a whopping 100 and... 
70 at most, I would say. All right. We have Switch. We have... Yeah, we're definitely going to be taking this prize card right now. I wonder if we should slap down Gengar here. Maybe not. Maybe let's just wait for it. We can also, like, slap it down later. It still doesn't have an energy regardless. Cyclone Kick. Kachaka. Come on, prize card. Be our guest and do something crazy. Quick Ball. Quick Ball is uh, a bidoof. That's not what we want. Hmm. It's gonna be a difficult matchup because we don't hit Inteleon for weakness. He could slap down an Urshifu out of nowhere, so I'm keeping my Gengar in hand. But yeah, this is not the hand you want to be starting off with. The cool thing is, even if he slaps down Pat to the peak, we are prepared with Collapse Stadium. So, the only thing I would need... And we also can utilize the V-Star power from Lucario, but he's not gonna be... That's not gonna be good against the opponent because they're not gonna be uh, slapping too many stuff down. Too much stuff down, I would say. Hmm. Maybe the Collapse Stadium would have uh, been nice here, but I think he's playing Path to the Peak, so we're keeping Collapse Stadium in hand. Here comes 170. That's super crazy. We, of course, can two shot. If he, he has to Cheryl next turn, right? What is he gonna do? Lucario V uh, could evolve into Lucario V Star. We could quick ball set ourselves up with a Bidoof. Oh no, he's gonna go for Arceus here. G Max Spiral. I like that because this guy doesn't have any damage on him. Another Arceus appears. Mm hmm. We don't need Gengar, although Gengar is quite a formidable attacker if you can if you're able to set him up. We're just gonna set ourselves up with a Bidoof. Four Marnie Tree Research. And what's going on here? Why can't we find it? Slapping down this, slapping down this, utilizing the switch card and giving him a little smack, shall we? Cyclone Kick, he's in range of getting knocked out by Lucario V Star, so he needs the Cheryl. That's a good thing, right? He could slap down Tower of Waters and attack with the other one, it's also a, an option. At one point, I will slap down Collapse Stadium to get rid of that Arceus, that damaged Arceus. So uh, we need to find some more basic Pokemon here. He could gust up the Arceus, but later does he know that then we can utilize Raihan if we promote and retreat. So that's gonna be pretty ridiculous. If this guy gets knocked out, we promote Lucario. Okay, there's a rope. Another Arceus. Okay, we're not, we're not giving up our Bidoof. Never. Ah, oh, he does have boss. Sad. Sad news. And uh, we've already wasted one switch. So it's gonna be pretty hard this matchup, I would say. There's definitely because we are bricking like crazy. <laughs> okay, there comes the path to the peak that I already expected. Imagine top decking Arcus V Star. That would be the dream. Then we can uh, get Lucario V Star. And boss gets three prize cards, and we still have two boss left, so that is gonna indicate the game, right? Okay, big charm is not gonna be coming onto this one, which is good. G Max Spiral, okay, now it comes down to the top deck, right? Top deck mode. Lucario, do this for us. Come on, Ultra Ball. Well, wow. but then we give away Collapse Stadium as well. Yeah. I want to have both. I want to have both, but it's clearly not possible. Yeah, training court is also still in there. We could still do some havoc if we find everything with Beeborel. Come on, Beeps. We are counting on you. Mm. Bosses, orders, and evolution incense. Well, sometimes we don't need Arceus V Star to do the havoc let's do this and we also have an attach of turn so we potentially could also attack with Arceus again let's go bossing this one Lucario attack with the fighting knuckle let's go three prize cards now we need to keep on the pace 
And uh, yeah, we have another boss that's super good, a super crazy good prize card for sure. He's forcing himself into Cheryl's, right? So, and he's already utilized boss twice. That means he can take a hit, use Arceus, set up another Pokemon, should be all right. Such a, a strong power, right? Fighting Knuckles, slapping so much damage for only two energies. So we boss up Octillery, set up Arceus and then try to go from there, right? Oof, don't do it, don't slap it down. Ah, uh, yeah, we won the game unless he Marnies. We have boss, we can just boss this guy up and slap 220. I know he wants to go in circles. There might be a potential Marnie coming, but we have Bibarel, right? So as long as we draw into uh, boss's orders, we should be all right. Could also try and boss trap something. Palpat and scoop up net, okay. I probably would have never slapped out an Italian. Okay, double boss, okay, he has more boss than ever before. Scoop up, Drizzle, he could boss the Bibarel. But we have everything in hand. Lucario, too strong. Italian will be going out, unless he Marnies. But with him palpating boss's orders, I expect him to boss the Bibarel or whatever. Or the Arceus, making us trapped. Knocking out the Beebs. Don't care about the Beebs though. Clearly don't. Okay, it's time. To finish stuff off with Lucario. Bossing and well played. Lucario, annihilate! <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, the deck is flowing pretty well, even though we have some rough starts here and there. The, the raw power of Lucario V-Star is super nice, definitely if you're able to hit against weakness. And I also did not talk about the fact that if you're up against Gengar, you also hit for weakness. So Gengar, Eternus, Jolteon, uh, opposing Arceus. It's gonna be fun. Now with three copies of Boss's Orders, you're gonna be able to, of course, boss the Dunsparce if you ever see one. Super fun to be playing with this list. I like it. You have uh, two routes you can go for. Uh, we're winning the coin flip every single time. That's like pretty crazy. But we don't always start with uh, the greatest start in the world. So let's just hope today changes. We are not running Crobats or anything, so we're forcing the opponent to an eight prize game or whatever. So let's go. So two prizer, two prizer. Okay, it's, is this Malamar? Uh oh. Uh, against Malamar, we clearly have no way to win, and except if we just not discard all their special energies. But then they still have basic energies. Yeah, yikes. We do have Hyper Potion though. And the Marnie here is also super nice to see. Okay, super f a lot of Mulligans. DTE. I think this is a horrible matchup. There's just no way around it. Going below away this. There's no way around. This is a horrible matchup. We can get the, the Bidoo set up, I guess. And uh, pass. Okay, so uh, Malamar. Maybe they break, but they have uh, so many Mulligans. Huge hand size, though. Maybe they have a lot of stones in their hand. Okay, they will be able to set up their entire field. We do have Collapse Stadium. If we're able to find that. Collapse Stadium, Marnie, and boom! And Knockout would be super strong, I would say. Rope! We do have Switch, doesn't matter. Is able to get the Subble as well. Keep going. Okay, that's pretty, pretty strong. So, we switch. Bibarel, Evolution Incense, Arceus, V-Star, here we go, we will Marnian attack, first beeps, let's go, Lucario, interesting attacker but weak to Psychic, so not gonna be utilizing that, slapping this down, and Marnie time. We could have also bossed the Remorade, but he has so many like of these subbles here. Attachment here. We have boss already, so I'm actually gonna go for Collapse sta Stadium. Has to get rid of a Pokemon here. It's an Inkay. 
Uh, star Burv before we're gonna get knocked out. Getting uh, a Gengar to set energies onto. And... We have a boss in hand, right? And an Ultra Ball seems pretty strong to me. Maybe the Big Charm, making ourselves less likely to get KO'd here. Big Charm, this one, and Trinity Nova. Bam! Triple Darkness energies coming down on the Gengar. It's also a two-prizer. We can use it as a two-prizer or we can uh, just go for the Dark Slumber here and there. Quick Ball to empty our hand is pretty interesting. He needs to get out two NK now. Will he be able to do it after being Marnied? This is a difficult matchup regardless because we're running multiple prize Pokemon. And we also don't run Chair and Scare. We do run one Hyper Potion, but that's not going to make the difference, right? Did we Marnie him into Oblivion? Who knows? He had a huge hand size though, but we lowered down their... Uh, oh, Cynthia's Ambition for four cards? That seems pretty bad. That means he has a lot of bricks in hand. That's cool. Things that he's not able to play down right away. Okay. I'm, I like the play that he has a... Uh, had to like Cynthia for four. That means all the cards in hand are like Brawlies or whatever. There's an Octillery, which we're instantly gonna be knocking out with the boss. <sighs> he could slap for 20 damage with that little NK. Let's hope another a lot of NKs are priced. No Drizzle. Rapid Strikes are, it doesn't seem like he has Drizzles. He does have Malamar though. Brings out Malamar instead of Inkay. Are there any Pokemon in the discard pile too? Ooh, he could have everything at this point. Having Rescue Carrier, Scoop Up Nets. Okay, there's a Drizzle. I'm, a, I'm already afraid. We had the big charm on here, but the opponent might literally have everything. Uh, Rescue Carrier and then Scoop Up Net as well. They would need eight cards in hand. With Scoop Up Nets and Rescue Carrier, that is possible. Another Drizzle here. Scoop up nets, I'm expecting at least. Ooh, Tower of Waters, interesting. So that's just a random rap strike card, right? Or if he slaps it down, he has more access to more Pokemon. Rescue Carrier, Inke Sable. Scoop up nets, does he have all rap strike cards in hand? One, two, three. No, he slaps down a Sable. Good news, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. He must slap down Tower of Waters right now, otherwise the Malamar gets knocked out and then it's a, a battle downhill. Okay, perfect. Another Inky. And Malamar attacks. Who do we knock out? Probably the uh, Octillery, right? Bossing Octillery. How many energies in here? One. Interesting. Maybe he whiffs out on an energy. Yeah, they just concede. They can see we did it. We uh, won against Malamar, but funny enough. He was thinking like, oh, my hand is just bad. I was never going to Marnie again because at one point he had like so many things that he was not able to play down instantly. So we went for Cynthia first. Yeah, typical Malamar stuff happening. Typical Malamar stuff. Let's play one more. I'm in the dire need to showcase Lucario. Oh, looks like we're up against an Ice Rider deck. We're not going to be doing too much against that. It's probably going to be a difficult matchup. And the reason I say this is that we have to two shot. He can potentially one shot all of our Pokemon. But he has a lot of. If he has a lot of energies in play, we can uh, do some havoc here and there. We have an interesting hand for sure. If he slaps on Pat to the peak, it will be bad. He could also brick, and uh, Lucario can instantly uh, gust up his Pokemon, right? As we've uh, came to know in the past. So Arceus, attach of the turn, here, we already have everything we need, big charm to protect ourselves, giving us out 300 HP, do we need choice belt, probably not, unless he has big charm, then we might, 
need it. Quick bowling away. He's not gonna boss. Let's not kid ourselves. Get our good friend Bidoof up and rolling. And wait with the big charm here. That's a great thing. Because I don't know if we will need Choice Bell, right? If he has big charm, he has 240 HP, which means with DTE, we lower our damage output and we need to rely on the uh, Choice Bell. So I wonder what ha what's gonna happen. You never see these Ice Riders fully explain what they're doing. So uh, two water energies. We could also get Marnie into Oblivion. With Pat to the peak on turn one, that would be super impressive. Another Ice Rider. Look beautiful looking alt art, water type energy. We're gonna gust that up right away. Uh, oh no, or not because of uh, Pat to the peak. I'm glad I was able to slap down our good friend uh, Bidoof though. Oh Marnie, no, that's not what I wanted. Lots of V Pokemon though. Uh, Gengar. Mm, Hyper Potion is interesting. Quick Ball could allow us. I'm actually just gonna try and maximize our chances here, right? Oh, looks like all of our Lucarios are priced. Well. Well, 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 well. Should have checked that earlier before attaching. <laughs> That's just my bad. It's fine. It's totally fine. Well, now I've seen everything. Yeah, sometimes you have that. Sometimes you have that. It's okay. We're gonna Marlin the opponent into Oblivion. Also, Pat to the Peak has uh, been slapped down, which is super sad for us to see. We have a DTE though. We can slap 120 with Lucario. Have Raihan back to back. It's, it's okay. This Evolution Incense. Uh, we don't actually need Arceus V Star quite yet. Beeps. Let's go. Arceus V Star is here as well. Quick bolt to get more stuff, but this is okay for now. Lowering the damage output. He might be stuck in the active for all we know. He can only Melanie when there's an energy in the discard pile. I don't see any subbles as well. Now I see subbles. And uh, by the time we're able to knock this guy out, he might. We might draw into Lucario V Stars, right? We're already gonna take two prize cards here. There's a Gengar where we're gonna be able to attach onto, which is nice. Okay, an attachment, 40 damage. Retreat, boss, no. Damaging Gengar, sure. Damaging Gengar, what do you know? So we switch over to Lucario again. Right, right. Slapping down the DTE here. We probably need a uh, stadium card or a choice belt. Yeah, choice belt is in there. There's only one though. We can boss up a Sobble if we want to. Maybe that's not a bad thing, right? This guy's not attacking anytime soon and we have more boss zords for those. We can still wait, right? Let's go with the industrials and scissors. <laughs> we have the training court allowing us yeah, with this in play, we can just knock out the little Sobbles, right? Because he needs like Melanie and something else. Hmm. Interesting choice. Training Cord already attaching to Gengar seems nice. Now, Training Cord also allows us to get the Choice Belt. But then he also is able to activate Suicune. Yeah, let's just go for it, right? Training Cord. Star birth. We will get ourselves choice belt. Big charm. Can we survive a hit right now? No, nah, we are not gonna be able to survive a hit against his uh, situation. Tool scrapper. Not nah, not necessary. What else? Evolution incense. We actually don't need anything else, right? We have the boss ready for next turn. Maybe just an energy, right? Energy onto Arceus. Sounds okay to me. We can still get it with the training cord, I know. But uh, yeah, I didn't know what else to grab, by the way. Let's get the choice belt on here. And next turn we boss something like the Suicune. 
No, something else maybe. We'll see. We have a great hand, so uh, we could also <laughs> boss trap the Suicune. But he might have Melanie, right? There's a couple of subbles being prepared here. Let's just go for the uh, Cyclone Kick and knock him out, right? Two prize Pokemon, knocking out a two prize Pokemon is a great... <laughs> the Lucario V-Star is here. Double Lucario V-Star. Imagine. What is he gonna do now? If he doesn't have Drizzt, oh, he promotes Suicune to draw cards. That's super clever because we slapped down training card. I didn't want to do it, but... Now he can maybe find... He has to find a switch out on top of finding a Melanie because... Yeah, they just concede. Another victory down for Lucario freaking V-Star. Yo, we're doing it. Fa we're doing it, mates. The deck is working. The deck is working. Okay, also the uh, tickets for the Bremen uh, regionals are gonna come up very shortly. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully I don't miss out here. Okay, yeah, we're waiting for the next opponent, but uh, after this match, we're gonna have to uh, book our tickets for the Bremen Regionals happening at the end of May. Okay, cool. And it uh, seems like we're winning all the coin flips. It's ridiculous. Okay, a Darkness deck. Let's just slap away with Lucario and be done with it. Perfect start, I would say. Yeah, it's the perfect start. I wonder if we should start with Arceus or not. Let's start with Arceus. I don't know what we're up against. Starting with Arceus is a good thing. He might just fool ourselves with uh, his current situation. It's a Subble. We don't have ways to knock out opposing... Uh, let's just go with this. Attachment here. Air Balloon there. Retreating here. Then I think next turn I want to be attaching that DTE. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of one DTE and slap down Bidoof here. We have Lucario V-Star, <laughs> yeah, finally. Finally, it's here, let's go. So yeah, whatever Pokemon he attacks with, Lucario can just take it. I see Sobble, so I don't, I'm not afraid of Mew, so that's super cool. Also, this uh, fine looking full art is just fantastic. Another cool thing you could do is play the Lucario from Champion's Pad, so you can like uh, jet punch your way to victory and knock out some Sobble simultaneously. Unless they all evolve, then your theory is not going to be working out. Darkness type energies. I expect uh, him doing probably nothing this turn, so it means we can just attach here, and next turn we can attach to Arcus and be safe for the day. I wonder if he's going to have... Oh, he has a quick ball. If we do draw into a... Uh... Oh, it's coughing. Well, I have not seen coughing in so long. There's 700, 700 people that uh, are going to go uh, available to the Bremen Regionals. Crazy. Okay, DTE here and a good old classic research. Yeehaw. Gengar is going to do absolutely nothing in this matchup. This goes over here. Could utilize Star Birth ability before... If the opponent poisons us, we can simply evolve, right? And then we're uh, saving ourselves from the poison. Star birth. What do we get? What are we gonna grab? We get the DTE and the Lucario, maybe an Evolution Incense. Or maybe an Ultra Ball, right? Ultra Ball can then clean up the hand. This is okay. I'm expecting this uh, Weezing to poison us, but we have everything in hand, so we need to Marnius on top of it. And I'm not gonna be utilizing the evolution, I'm not gonna be utilizing it quite yet. It's just gonna be a Cyclone Kick poosh, to the face on a Subble. Taking a prize card and be done with it. Okay, <laughs> so many Ultra Balls in hand. He's gonna poison us, then we utilize Lucario V Star. We might just attach DTE and utilize Hyper Potion, could have also been a way out. But as long as he like uh, utilizes a uh, Sableye, we can just knock it out with an Arcus, so he's not gonna do that, right? Ascension. What? That's just a terrible, terrible situation. 
All right, I'll take it. DTE here. We can use training core if we want to. We're not going to be utilizing it though. Ultra Ball, let's get rid of Gengar, which is super useless in this matchup. Might as well get rid of Arceus. Nah, just Gengar in, in his entirety. Not good in this matchup. And get out the beeps. Even though we cannot use the beeps, it is here. Okay. Cyclone kick hit for weakness. Kachaka. Fighting type is busted. Being a fighting type is busted. We have not seen any Muse, but if we see Muse, you just go all uh, Gengar on, up on the opponent. Yo, which Pokemon is gonna come next? <laughs> Lucario is just like unfazed by everything in its path. And we just made this deck list in like five minutes and it's working out so well. It's probably not the refined list. Maybe you can cut Tool Scrapper for something else that you prefer. But I do love the way that Lucario can hunt down Pokemon with boss 240. Yo, nothing happening? What's going on, man? Uh, choice belt to then stuff that could snipe. So I'm actually just going to evolve here into our good friend. Lucario V-Star, making it all possible. We could just utilize research to then dig for boss's orders, right? Put a choice belt on here. There's a switch in here. Yeah, that's okay. Let's ultra ball away this and that. Probably not, never gonna be needing Raihan ever again. Might as well get another beeps off. Doubling up on the beeps and research time. And we could just switch here. Research. Now look at all that draw power, man. It's crazy. Put the darkness energy on here and start attacking with... We have the Hyper Potion, which is super nice. We can Trinity Nova, put two energies onto our good friend Lucario. And then uh, we can utilize Hyper Potion on it, making it even stronger because we can get rid of that DTE that way. Crazy combos. We have the boss in hand. What can he even do against uh, a situation like that? He can come with uh, the one and only Baby Moltres. But by then, the Baby Moltres only slaps to 70. He will need to get... What is in his hand, by the way? I want to see that hand. I want to be utilizing Greninja V Union to check out the opponent's hand. But it's not possible. It is not possible. And the opponent, props to the opponent for not conceding because this is uh, as good as game. We still have our air balloon equipped it with DTEs for retreat as well. Yeah, there is the concession, of course. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Lucario V-Star with Gengar V-Star, V-Max uh, uh, v and Arceus V-Star. Wow, that was a mouthful. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It helps out in many ways. Check it out for yourself. Uh, go check out PotownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can also fetch uh, Lucario V-Star. They will have them uh, restocked very shortly. Also, go check out CardMarket.com. If you're a European player, you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. There's also Dragon Shield to get sleeves, binders, as well as... As, uh, yeah, all the accessories you want for your protecting your cards. Click the link down below if you want to have some Dragon Shield product. And last but not least is yourplaymat.com. Get yourself covered to create your own custom playmat from scratch. Ideal because real life tournaments are back. You can create your own custom playmat from scratch. Upload your favorite wallpaper or just design something yourself. And of course, they ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. And thanks again to 9CardTCG for helping us with Lucario V-Star. I'm out. Peace.